Namaskaram, Assalamu alaikum, good afternoon. Honorable Minister, MLA, Asarpanch, to the people of Danawada, I thank you very, very much for the opportunity to join you today. To my fellow Americans that have come today, a very special thank you to you for your contributions, for your interest, for your enthusiasm that I have seen in just the few minutes of being with you today. To our Hollywood and Bollywood people, a special thank you for bringing attention to this very, very important project and this very, very important challenge that faces people here in India. As you all know, we're here to celebrate the efforts of Water Health International, a dedicated organization that has been advancing innovative solutions to providing potable water in urban areas, including through its decentralized community water systems. Further afield, WHI has developed a low-cost business model that allows them to install, operate, and maintain more than 500 water health centers across India, Bangladesh, Ghana, Nigeria, and Liberia. Together, these centers provide access to safe water for more than 5 million people at very affordable prices. This represents a cost-effective and feasible option for improving drinking water and overall public health. Jaldara, which we are launching today, is a new initiative by Water Health and that will focus on the empowerment and employability of women through women-operated water health centers. Another arm of Jaldara, Water for Schools, will provide free, clean drinking water to local schools allowing students to access healthy water throughout the day. Close to a million students and children stand to benefit from this. Water Health has been doing great work in India for the last seven years. I'm delighted to witness the launch of this Jaldara initiative. We all expect great things from this initiative and believe that it's going to have a meaningful impact on some of the most underserved communities across India. My congratulations go out to the team that has made today's launch possible. I want particularly to salute Jacqueline, Ambassador Dick, but to know that it has taken the entire team as well. You've been an inspiration to me to know that life does not end after one leaves India as the American ambassador and one can stay engaged, and I thank you for that engagement. I'm very proud to say that the United States has a long track record of partnering with India in identifying and scaling innovative solutions to water-related challenges. For example, the U.S. Agency for International Development, USAID's Health for the Urban Poor program is currently working with stakeholders in Bhubaneswar, Pune, and Jaipur to improve access to safe water for low-income communities. USAID has also worked extensively with industry to improve access to potable water and sanitation programs in urban areas where it identifies opportunities to reuse municipal wastewater as an input into manufacturing processes and therefore conserves water. Even now, we are working throughout the U.S. government to assess opportunities for expanded engagement on water challenges in India. We recognize that development progress in all sectors, from maternal and child health to environment and agriculture, can be enhanced by taking action together. For example, on the global level, India, Ethiopia, and the United States have taken the leadership for a call to action to encourage governments and NGOs around the world to improve the rate at which children survive. We found that if children can get to their fifth birthday, they have a very, very good chance of making it to 65 and to beyond. India is working very hard to improve its own programs. One in five children in the world under five is an Indian. 
One in five who dies before reaching age five is an Indian. So there is much to do. One of the encouraging things for me is that India is becoming an incubator. Programs that are tried in India and work successfully are being used around the world. And we are very, very proud to be partnering in that effort. Once again, my congratulations to the team and my sincere thanks for allowing me to be part of your day today. Thank you very much.